Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. So today I have something very exciting for you guys, but before we get started, this episode could be filled with Game of Thrones spoilers. So if you're not up to date, or if you care about spoilers, or if you think about watching Game of Thrones, then should switch off the video right now and come back to it later once you've caught up or read the books, which might be in months time. Today, we are going to be reenacting a possible battle that's going to happen in potentially this season or the next season of Game of Thrones, the battle for the wall. The premise of this battle is going to be, just in case you don't know, the White Walkers have broken through the wall or potentially the Northern Lords are sending their armies up north to defeat the White Walkers. Either or, as you can see, the Northern Army is commanded by Jon Snow right here. The Golden Knight is gonna be Jon Snow. Hopefully if he doesn't die in this season of Game of Thrones, which would be, would be kind of embarrassing if he does. So he is commanding 700 heavy knights, 700 footmen, 700 spears right here and 700 spears right there. And then another unit of 700 footmen and behind them all, there's 300 archers. So they're going to be holding this choke point and on the other side of this choke point, we're going to have 30,000 of the running zombies, which I haven't used that much in the past. They're not really dressed to be white walkers or anything, but just use your imagination, everybody. <laughs> Place your bets down in the comments down below as to who is going to win. I am hoping that Jon Snow is going to prevail today. And we obviously have to imagine that they all have dragon glass or they all have valyrian steel to kill the white walkers but let's just say they do let's just say they do they coated their spears they coated their swords or they have valyrian steel swords everything is perfect all right probably in the books it's not gonna go this way or in the show but let's see let's just see what's gonna happen when i press play and here they come the hordes of zombies Jon Snow you better survive this if you die again you're not getting resurrected okay so just be careful you gotta watch out because we can't be losing you again because everybody's gonna cry about it I'm pretty sure I see the hordes of zombies pouring through and also we have the avalanche that's just gonna come down and we're gonna use that to our advantage let's have a look at them holy shit these guys are actually a lot faster than I remember them being. This kind of reminds me of the Siege of the Wildling Camp. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that's kind of what you saw. Just fucking White Walkers running at everywhere, you know? They weren't walking like your typical zombies. They were running. They were sprinting and tearing people up. But here we go. We're about to get some first content. I'm not sure if the running zombies actually turn these people, these guys after they die into running zombies as well, or just regular zombies. But we're gonna find out. So here it comes, everybody. We've got first contact up, please! Oh, the archer fire is slowly coming down. Let's have a look. The mana arms are not really doing that much damage to the zombies. I was ho ho hoping that we're gonna, like, swing once. And then we're gonna kill them all. But turns out these zombies are kind of difficult. Even though all of our guys have thick plate armor. They've got Valyrian steel. Come on, guys! You could do much better than this and archers are not doing anything. I mean, they are softening up the zombies a little bit before they hit the first line. But I don't think that's good enough. Look at that. The zombies are just tearing through them. No. Is this going to be the bittersweet ending that George R. R. Martin was talking about? The armies of Westeros are going to gather to fight the White Walkers, but they're just going to be defeated. They're just going to get slaughtered like pigs. I personally don't think that's going to be the ending of Game of Thrones. I have some other theories, which I'm not going to discuss in this video because I don't want to turn into like a spoiler heavy video for those of you that decided to continue to watch this video, even though you haven't seen Game of Thrones. I'm hoping that the spears are going to do a much better job. Only problem is Jon Snow is going to kind of like stand in the open right there, which is not the best. Let's have a look. How's the avalanche doing? Is that helping us significantly? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> oh no! Are you kidding me? 30,000 zombies are gonna break through this line. Like a hot knife through butter. Look at them. They're just cutting through these mana arms. Let's have a look if these guys actually turn into zombies themselves. <gasps> I don't think they actually do, which is a good thing. So they're not getting resurrected like they would be in the films or the books. I just couldn't be bothered with the slow walking zombies because they're way too slow for my liking. Oh my god. Yeah, you know how I said 
that the, uh, the armies of Westeros were gonna win this. I'm not so sure anymore. I really don't know. Oh dear. Well, it was nice knowing you, Westeros. Everybody that lived there, I'm sorry, but you're about to die. Oh no. Archers, do some more work. No, the zombies are actually breaking through. Oh, okay. The spearmen are actually holding them slightly. But our first line of defense has fallen. We do still have heavy knights. I'm depending on the heavy knights to do all the heavy work for me. <laughs> See why I did the heavy knights heavy work? <laughs> oh, the golden knight! Did you see that? He just knocked them back like there's no tomorrow. Right, Jon Snow? It's time I took control of you. Come here, you foul beasts. Are you gonna get aggroed on me? Here it is. Here's the first one. Jon Snow! Oh, shit. 200 damage, not bad, but I don't think that's actually gonna be enough to stop these guys. You know what? That's Jon Snow. <laughs> I'm gonna hide behind here and hope for the best. Hey guys, <laughs> you guys doing good? <laughs> actually, heavy knights, protect me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jon Snow is among his men. Do your thing, all right? Do whatever you want to do. Enemies killed a thousand. Enemies killed 600. It's pretty much even so far. These zombies are kind of powerful. All right, so these guys have 100 health. And these guys have 250. Yep. I don't think the spearmen are actually going to last that long. How about these guys? They've got 500, so they stand sort of a chance. These guys were 200. Oh, that's so interesting. But surely... They must do so much more damage than the zombies. Otherwise, this battle is just not fair, is it now? The archers, I think, are finally doing their job. What's quite good, actually, is seeing that majority of this horde is focusing on the left flank, which has the heavy knights. So I'm hoping the heavy knights are gonna hold them back for a little bit. They're just chipping away at these spearmen. They just don't stand a chance. I swear, if the heavy knights are not going to hold, I mean, we've got the mana arms as well just behind them, the footmen. But they got just torn apart in our first line of defense, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to hold anymore. Third of our men has been killed already, and only a fraction of the zombies. Uh, the White Walkers are really a big threat, aren't they? Do we have like any cow that's gonna show up? Unfortunately, spoiler alert, I do not. <laughs> no! Oh, the spearmen! I thought you guys were gonna be much better than this. We came underprepared. We weren't equipped enough. On the right flank, they've actually broken through the spears and they're attacking. No! Jon Snow, you cannot die. Right, everybody? Pray for Jon Snow. If Jon Snow falls, we can't resurrect him anymore. Because he's just gonna turn into a White Walker. <gasps> Maybe that's gonna be the bittersweet ending. Jon Snow was the Night King all along. Right? Makes sense. Makes so much sense. Trust me. I've studied Game of Thrones series, so I know what I'm talking about. I'm not bluffing at all. How dare you accuse me of bluffing? Okay, I'll never lie to you guys. Yeah, they're kind of all focusing on the Golden Knight. So if Jon Snow doesn't get out of there, he might be screwed. He might be dead. Come on, Jon. You can hold them off. You can do it. You've got your Valyrian steel sword, long claw. So please, just hold the back. Maybe Ghost is gonna show up with a pack of wolves. With, with 20,000 wolves. Oh shit. John? No! John has fallen! John Snow is dead again! No! His body is just gonna be covered in dead White Walkers. At this point, his brothers are falling all around him. No, oh, John. I thought you were the Azora High. I thought you were the chosen one. I thought you were the one that was meant to bring Dawn back to Westeros. No. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this army doesn't stand a chance because look at that. The zombies are slowly making their way towards the archers, which is our last line of defense. And they're not very good in melee combat, the archers. Let me tell you, spoiler alert. But they only have bows. They don't have any swords. I do have to say, that these helmets kind of do remind me of Stark helmets. Especially the spearmen. Look at that. Those are the traditional Stark helmets, right? Pretty much. 
Look at that. It makes sense. It's perfect. See, this game was actually themed after Game of Thrones. You know, this battle was meant to be the battle for the wall or whatever it's going to be called in the books or the battle for the dawn or something like that, which probably makes a little bit more sense and sounds a lot cooler. Oh no, <laughs> her life flank is non-existent anymore. Pretty much what remains of our army is the heavy knights, which surprisingly are holding pretty well. We still got some spears on the right flank, which are not doing much and a few archers here and there. But that's about it. After those guys are gone, this is it. The White Walkers are victorious. They're gonna terrorize Westeros and the Night King is gonna sit on the Iron Throne. Who knows, maybe the Night King is actually gonna be a good king, you know? Better than the Mad King. Definitely better than Cersei. 100% better than Joffrey. So you know, <laughs> it could be the best king Westeros has ever seen. You don't know that. I don't know it either. <laughs> Let's just give the guy a chance. The armies of Westeros did do some damage. Maybe this is gonna be a start of a campaign. So this would be the battle for the wall, but then we're gonna have Daenerys' forces faced against what remains of these White Walkers. If you guys would like to see something like that, then please let me know in the comments down below or just leave a like on this video. That would be pretty amazing. Not gonna lie. So basically, all the White Walkers that are gonna remain here are gonna face off against Daenerys' army and then potentially the final stand of the Lords of Westeros that gather all the men and women, the children that remain to fight the White Walker invasion. But unfortunately, on this day, the armies of the North were not successful in stopping the White Walkers from crossing the wall into Westeros. Because as you can see, the remaining forces are being butchered. They're surrounded. But the dawn finally came to shine upon these brave souls, which was gonna die in the sunlight, not in the darkness that they were trying to prevent. But look at that. Look at that zombie. He's just gonna like kill this guy. He didn't even do anything about it. He's gonna kill them all. Are these archers even gonna try and stop him? He killed two people now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! He killed three people! Are you crazy? Not the fourth. Come on. Are you serious? He's gonna wipe out this entire squad by himself? Wow. And he lives to tell the tale. And there you have it, boys. And there you have it. The Battle of the Wall has been lost. But this is the first battle in a long campaign to stop the White Walker invasion. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. And if you did, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to me to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care and bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.